Have you ever been on the losing side? I can make a safe bet by assuming that everyone has been at the losing point at one point in their lives. The difference, however, between successful and ordinary people would be the mindset and attitude. The mindset in which people approach different situations is very important to their success. There's one man in the tennis community in which he has perfected and fine-tuned this kind of successful mindset. That would be none other than the worldwide inspiration, Rafael Nadal. Who is Nadal, you may ask? Rafael Nadal, known as the king of clay for his skill playing on clay courts, as well as his top spin heavy shots and tenacity, Nadal has won a record of 13 French Open singles titles and is tied for first of all time in men's game with a total of 20 Grand Slam titles. He is known as one of the best players of all time, the man who breaks records beyond repair. Rafael Nadal was born in Mallorca, Spain on June 3rd of 1986. When he was three years old, his uncle Tony Nadal, a former professional tennis player, started working with him, seeing an aptitude for the sport in young Rafael. From a young age, Nadal was disciplined heavily and was taught humble morals. His family made sure to prioritize his mindset before his tennis game. His uncle Tony was especially harsh on Nadal because he believes that in sports, being humble and nice will make you a better player. This went to extreme extents in which Nadal won a major juniors tournament. However, Tony was not satisfied. After Nadal finished the match, instead of congratulating him or praising him, all he said was that you could have played better. Nadal heard this and was very upset. He was also confused at the same time. He asked his parents, why was Tony so harsh? But his parents knew what Tony did. It was to develop the proper mindset that helped you succeed in life. Nadal continued to play multiple regional tournaments with this attitude. He won and won. At the age of eight, Nadal won an under 12s regional tennis championship, giving his uncle Tony the incentive to step up his training. Tony noticed at the time that Nadal played his forehand shots with two hands, so he encouraged him to play left-handed, thinking it could give Nadal an edge on the court. At the age of 16, Nadal made it to the semifinals of the boys singles tournament. At 17, he became the youngest male ever to reach the third round of Wimbledon since Boris Becker. However, when he's 19 years old, he accomplished a feat which no one ever could. Nadal won the French Open the first time he competed in the tournament and his world ranking shot to number three. Nadal won 11 singles titles that year, eight which were on clay and he was soon to be dubbed the king of clay. Although it may seem that Nadal's tennis career was easy, it was nowhere near easy. Nadal had many challenges throughout his career, career that could have easily pulled him down. He had a major foot injury that was so serious, it made a full halt to his tennis career. He traveled the world for medical advice and was unsuccessful everywhere. He had no idea what to do until a doctor saw him on television, television talking about his problem, called him and said he had a solution. Nadal went to the doctor and found the perfect solution. The reason Nadal was not in early retirement already is because of his perseverance and determination to find the right medical advice. He handled this challenge and made sure to never give up. And since his tennis techniques are pushing the limits of the human body, he's often injured and, and takes huge breaks from tennis, but that doesn't stop him. Still, it doesn't end there. Physical injuries are one thing and mental challenges are another. His parents got divorced, which in, impacted Nadal a lot mentally. Nadal heard this news right before a major final. However, he decided to cope with this divorce. Many people thought that Nadal would be done for and he would not be able to play properly or even forfeit the match. But, not, but Nadal learned to accept what happened and he moved on. You heard me talking about this mindset for a long time now. There are three main qualities that make up this mindset and define how successful it is. The reason why this mindset is so success, successful is because of acceptance, hard work, and the ability of never giving up. Nadal possesses all three of these qualities and, able, and, and is able to represent these qualities and use them for his success.
The first major inspirational quality from Nadal would be acceptance. He has learned to accept any mistake, unforeseen accident, or even unfair situations. You might think that accepting things would, wouldn't do much for your success. However, accepting things is the first step to success. Before you can move on from a mistake or accident, you have to learn to accept it and move on. Nadal, for Nadal, accepting things, accepting things comes very naturally for him. Because in tennis, when you lose a point, you have to learn to accept what happened and you have to move on. If you get stuck on that point, then you'll ultimately lose the match. However, if you learn to move on and try to prevent it the next time, you will play better and you'll have a higher chance of winning. However, acceptance doesn't just have to do with tennis. It can be in any type of situation, whether that be mental or physical. If you learn to get, if you get an injury, you have to learn to accept that you can't play for a couple of days and you have to take rest. However, if you don't accept that, then you'll try playing and you'll get a bigger injury, which is why acceptance is very important. The second most inspirational quality in Nadal is his hard work. He is not as naturally talented as many other tennis players. However, he's reached the top by working hard and hard every single day until he made it. Nadal is widely known for his hard work, dedication, and focus on tennis. However, this mentality of working hard doesn't just apply to tennis again. It can apply to any type of sport or activity. An example of him working really hard to get to where he is today is that he had a lot of injuries. Throughout 2014 to 2021, he was plagued with injuries. He had to work really hard for physical therapy, taking huge breaks, which stopped his streaks. He had to play through pain, and sometimes he even played major finals with the same pain. The third most inspirational quality and probably one of his best qualities would be the ability of never giving up. Giving up in the middle of a match is a very common thing to do, and it's very easy to do because most people give up in the match mentally when they start losing. However, Nadal, no matter how bad the situation for him, for him is, he always comes back and beats the opponent, which makes him inspirational and very unique. Compared to other players, Nadal is a one in a century player. Due to these three qualities, Nadal is an inspiration to all. Using acceptance, hard work, and the ability of never giving up, he's able to be successful on the court and everywhere else. With a mentality like this, he's able to inspire many people on the court and off the court, which makes him one of the most inspirational role models of all time. Something in your life that you've had to accept and sort of move on from? Sometimes, uh, to me, I play tennis a lot, almost every single day. And when you play something that involves winning or losing, you're ultimately going to lose sometimes, right? So in tennis, I learned to accept a lot of matches. When I lose, I try to get better and prevent it from happening again. That's how I learned to accept uh, matches, and I'm able to accept other things. Like if I get a bad grade, I learned to accept the test score I got and learn from it. I learned from the mistakes I made, and I try to do better the next time. Right. I think that's a really important quality. One more question. You mentioned, um, you know, his uncle and the role that his uncle had in sort of pushing him towards success. Um, who in your life pushes you for pushes you towards success like that? In my life, mainly there's one person that pushes me towards success, and that would be my dad. He always pushes me, telling me I can do better. I can do better. And he always makes me stay humble and never be arrogant. If I get a good grade, he, he's always like, make sure to keep up this and don't, don't get too ahead of yourself. And that's why he always pushes me to do better. And he's a big part of my life. Excellent. Thank you.